hey guys, a little bit of an evening ride for me. And we are just running this back, and this is the Tempest GT. So, just waiting to get out of the traffic. As you can tell, it is rush hour. So, we're going to see how we can get on here. I would filter, but it's a little bit tight down there, so I'm just going to uh, bide my time until I get to the roundabout. But, uh, as I always say, Tempest GT, absolutely love these bikes. And it sounds like an absolute gorgeous machine, this. Got a bit of a brat to that exhaust. So, this one for the customer. Uh, this one's going back to Alan tonight. And obviously the customer gave us a call and said, I can't get in, I've got an hernia, I can't ride. So, went and picked it up. It's had its first service, which means I can do 50 mile an hour. Yay! And then obviously we're going to drop it back to him because he still can't ride. I'm going to drop it back to him tonight. That's his friend. And it also gives me a bit of time to get out, enjoy some sun, and have a decent ride on a bike for quite a distance. So we're off to the other end of Melbourne Keynes. And if you haven't caught up on, uh, obviously, the videos that have gone up, we took the Street Triple out, we are taking the R1 out. The BMW 1200 has now gone to its new owner, Neil. Came in very, very chuffed. He follows the channel, so if you're watching, Neil, enjoy that bike. I tell you, that is going to give you miles and miles of endless pleasure. So he's uh, very happy with his bike. And, of course, when he came in... Uh, I tend to be a little bit finicky with my paperwork and it must have taken us about 45 minutes to go through all the paperwork and we, we literally checked everything it's got two mirrors, yeah, it's got a front mud guard, yeah all the cables are in the right place, yeah we go through a 90 point check when we hand the bike over go through absolutely everything and we did and uh, so, where's the bit for this, where's the bit for that uh, we got all the way through talk it under the seat, let's have a quick look Oh, no, there's no toolkit. Right, let me go and get you one. And uh, I went and got one of our spare ones out for him. I have a toolkit, so very welcome to have it. We've got loads of those spare, so signed it all off. He's gone, and obviously he took the extended warranty on that. We always say, if you're buying one of the big used bikes from us, get the extended warranty, because with the uh, warranty on our big used bikes, it's three months return to base, so if you happen to live at the other end of the country, get a national warranty on it. And that means you can go to any dealer around the UK, any garage, blah, 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 the warranty covers it, and our warranty company is very, very good. Give the bikers the nod. And there's a lot of bikers out tonight. Just passed a load of uh, CBT instructors, and they just gave me the two thumbs, the uh, two fingers down. It's like, yeah, hello, RB. <coughs> Recognise them. And we're going to be going past the CPT school in Milton Keynes in just a second. Uh, my favourite instructor as well. There's some great guys at this uh, CPT school. And if you happen to know Milton Keynes, you'll know where I'm going to go past. And we're going to head down past Milton Keynes Bowl. And Milton Keynes Bowl is the place if you want a CBT. Now, they're currently about two months ahead. So if you're looking for a CBT, if you want one for August, September, get in now. Because Guy... William, Andy, all the boys down at Learn to Ride are absolutely chocker down there. Guy is absolutely full of dasts, mod 1s, mod 2s and all that sort of stuff. So, very, very good CBT school. I tend to ride with those guys. A couple of times a year I get an assessment and I go out. I normally ride with Guy. And obviously due to lockdown I haven't had my recent uh, six months assessment. But I'm Judas, obviously, when he's got a free minute. And it'll probably be a Sunday afternoon or something stupid get out with Guy, have an assessment of my riding, and I know the first thing he's going to say to me as soon as I get out on the uh, ZX, get off your front brake! I tend to trail brake, and I've talked about this on numerous videos about uh, CBTs and schools and trail braking, counter steering, all that. That's the first thing that Guy normally tells me, get off your front brake, stop trail braking. I know, sorry Guy, yeah, I bring some very bad track habits. That's uh, learn to ride up there. Give it a nod. 
so we uh, we tend to get a lot of our guys that obviously go to uh, Guy, William and Andy down at Learn to Ride and if you're looking to book a CBT it's probably one of the best schools in Milton Keynes there are others and uh, I'll give him a shout out Mark Page at Ridewell so if you're looking for CBT Milton Keynes Mark Page Ridewell and uh, obviously towards Northampton you've got Terry at 90 to 1 and that is 90 hyphen 1 Terry's a very very good CBT instructor also Grafton Honda in Milton Keynes have their own CBT school phone up ask for Sue tell her Rev Bomb sent you but uh, most of those guys know me so if you just mention Rev Bomb you're not going to get any discount but they'll know who they're talking about and uh, it normally uh, gets me a beer at the pub thank you for leaving like a wide berth that is the sort of car driver I like with watching him in my mirrors and he went out into the middle of the road to get round me and obviously he indicated as well to let me know that he was coming so thank you very much there are some good car drivers out there you do get some crappy ones as well that want to get right past your shoulder and check my mirror and let's get a filter in I'm going to scoot down the outside here and just sit on the outside I like to sit on the outside of cars lane free then watching me in their mirror I love how this thing pops and bangs like the proverbial. Great little exhaust system on this Tempest GT. And it don't sound like a 125, it sounds like something a little bit bigger. But obviously that means uh, now it's had its first service I can get uh, a little bit more power on the bike, work the engine a little bit for the customer. And I always tend to ride, I haven't got over 45 yet, um, I tend to stick to still my original ride test mileage it's a customer's bike I'm not going to be pegging it out the box even though it's had a first service I'm going to be taking my time nice and steady working my way around watching the traffic and just enjoying the ride that's what biking is all about it's not how fast you can go A to B it's about enjoying the ride enjoying the scenery having a little bit of fun and you can't get much more fun than being on one of these I tell you I'm grinning again ah normal RB thing where uh, I start enjoying the bike and I start grinning and obviously last week uh, someone said to me Jesus Christ what have you done to your mouth and I went what and he went someone punched you in the mouth you've got I went no nah, no nah, I've got an abscess when I'm riding I tend to uh, grip my teeth or grind my teeth unless I'm talking especially if I'm on the Z, uh, ZX and uh, following the advice of my dentist he said to me get yourself a mouth guard. I went, yeah, but how can I do my blogs? Well, if you're not, when you're doing your blogs, you tend to be moving your jaw. But if you're out on a long ride where you're not going to be talking, you're just going to be filming, get yourself a mouth guard, boxer's mouth guard. It will stop you grinding your teeth or chew gum. Ah, okay, I'll chew gum then. I can't be bothered with a mouth guard. So uh, that's what I've tended to start doing now. <laughs> the only thing is, like, where do you put your gum? And it's normally... <laughs> stuck to the side of my crash helmet if I'm not chewing it's like oh my god pull it off chew it again dirty habit where are you going I just love the way that people like oh. Land Rover driver what do you expect I've oh, got a Land Rover I can be a snob yes you can be a snob but you can also drive like an absolute womble rolling start doesn't that just sound so good what a lovely bike this is to ride you can see why Alan bought this one it's like he'd watched a load of my videos he'd seen me uh, obviously under the tunnel when we went under the bridge and I dropped a couple of red bombs and uh, he's like, I just love the brap of that exhaust yes it is a lovely bike and we're still sitting at 40 mile an hour I can, it's like you can do 50 RB yeah I know but it's customer's bike I, I like to take my time blah 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 but, uh, I still do take care if I'm riding a customer's bike and if you watch that Suzuki Intruder that I took out I kept that one at 45 as well I could have opened it up and uh, obviously pushed it to 60 same thing again principles apply it's a customer's bike I'm not going to be pegging it as if I'd stolen it 
but obviously now that it's had its service I can get a few more revs on the bike so okay, almost at the customer's address I'm going to uh, wind up here I've got one of my mates coming to pick me up in a car so uh, happy days he said oh, I'll pop over pick you up in the car you've got your face mask haven't you I went yeah I've got my neck roll brilliant he said uh, on the way back we'll pop in the pub and have a beer I'm like sounds like a plan to me because obviously Mrs B is over at her mother's this weekend which means I've got the house to myself tonight I know what I'm going to be doing and not that not what you're thinking you dirty lot I'm going to be sat on the YouTube catching up with all my uh, biker guys finding out there's a live stream tonight I might live stream or I might live stream tomorrow just depends on uh, what we are doing so we are going to uh, cut down here I'm going to pop back to the customer's house it's been the Tempest GT having a nice little bit of fun on this and until the next time where you're out riding with uh, RB have yourself a good one guys be well ride safe and until the next time it's a big goodbye from me